Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the last look. So obviously I'm crouching because, well, you know, you know who is here somewhere. Probably not near me though, so I think we'll be okay for now. So thanks to the developers who gave me a hint that said uh, if crouching inside grass actually helps you out not being seen. Uh, pick up what? I cannot touch it without oh. getting shot. Oh yeah, that. Why would I, why would I want to pick that up? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to try to stick to the grassy uh, areas for now. In the hopes of not being seen. It's definitely not a hiding spot though. Apparently. And look! Speak of the devil! It's like she has Jedi senses! When you speak of her, she comes for you. Alice, use the force. Because I'm going to kill you if you don't. Where'd she go? Holy shit, she is a Jedi. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Alright then. Uh, huh. Oh, there she is. Uh, are you gonna break down the door for me? That door which I can't open? Because I would love it if you do that. She's hanging around there. Ah, uh, she's gonna go the other way. That's good. You do your thing. Could have opened the door for me though. Hang on, is she coming this way? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Alright then. Um, oh, hello. This is something. Uh, what did I. Why did I pick that up? And yeah, I have my stuff still because I actually picked them up. But, um. Then I came back here. <laughs> okay, what was she doing? I don't know. Uh, what to do with this wooden, which which doesn't even appear in my inventory? I'm not sure why. Can I? Like there is a tiny what? Little copper wire inside. I need to get rid of the plastic hull. Yeah, I kind of thought about using the wooden thing with the cable to hit it, but uh, why? With the broken cable. Um, okay, not sure what I can do with that, huh, but all right, we'll see. Wow, this crouching in the grass thing really, I, really works. <laughs> Thanks, devs. <laughs> Didn't think it would work that well, actually, <laughs> but it does. I remember I could interact with this fire, but all Alice says is, hmm. Um, maybe... I don't think I would want to use the tape or the powder, right? Maybe cable? Hang on, what, if I, what happens if I use the powder? Nothing. How about cable? Whoa, <laughs> smells like my dead grandma's armpit. Placeholders! <laughs> I like placeholders. Wait, what do we get out of that? Copper cable? Oh yeah, the copper cable's right, so... Oh, wait, hold on. So if you have a cable... Can we, um, pick the lock? Remember she, she was talking about picking the lock for some gate that had a bottle of something somewhere over there? Okay, I think we're okay. okay let me go over there right now before she comes. Like, I think she's on the other side. Let's go fast, Alice. Just a little bit. Crouch down. Check our surroundings. I think we're okay. I hope. Alright, Alice, go for it! Uh, ye okay, placeholder. Right. Let's use it. It worked, I think. Yes! Grab the bottle. Cool. Uh, okay, so wait, is this the container that she was talking about where we can, um, mix the sugar and, uh, the water? I seen like thousand bottles lying around the alleyway. What could she pick one of them up? <laughs> All right, though. Game rules are game rules. We gotta deal with it. I will. Holy shit! Those are some big fucking wasps. They're like hornets, man. Jeez. Anyways, they're dangerous. Let's leave them alone. So hopefully, while crossing this pavement, she won't appear out of nowhere. 
I think we're okay. Alright, move, 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 Alice. Before she comes back. Alright, so that's the water. Let's add that to this. That sound means I think uh, it were bottled with water, yes. Let's keep that open. Or maybe not, alright, sure. Uh, sugar. Sugar. Uh, okay. Now bottle of sugar water, cool. So, wait, instead of repelling the wasps, I think we're gonna attract them. Alright, well, hopefully not to us, but uh, away from the fountain, I'm guessing. <laughs> that, that works. That surprisingly works, alright. Um, I think we are... Okay. Alright, jump. <laughs> jump, Alice. God damn it. And, alright, let's see how this is gonna work. Wasps. They are coming over here, yes. Run. Or are they? Yeah, they are. We got them. Let's, let's sneak away from them. Don't get too close now. Ugh. No, no, don't look at me, wasps. Don't look at me. Shh. Alright, while... Uh, Great. The well is invaded by wasps. I need to get rid of them without being stung. Uh... You seem to be okay. Pick up the key. There it is. Pick it. There you go. Now, let's get away from the wasps. Before we tempt them to sting us. Uh, let's move, 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 move. I think the door was like right there. Here, drink your water. I'm not uh, thirsty right now. You're not? You sure? It'd be a waste to drink that. Okay, fine. You seem to be out of breath, so I was offering you a drink, Alice. But, uh, fine. You don't want to drink? You don't need to. Cool, I got an achievement. Aiden's apartment. So, I'm guessing that's the guy. Ooh. Fancy. This must Ooh, be Isabel's I know. boyfriend. But, Ooh. where is Mary? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Mary is just a ghost. I'm not thirsty right now. Would be a waste to drink that. Safe now, get lost. Wow, what a friendly guy. What's this stuff? Uh, Hayden Carpenter is a rapist. Hayden Carpenter is a thief. Hayden Carpenter is a drug addict. A and a child molester. Wow. So, I guess he's not very. He's not. He's not a nice guy. Jim, West Craven Hill. I. <laughs> okay then. So yeah, I think we're in the right apartment. Hey Mary, you went to the park, and we'll and we'll bring you some something from, uh, Starbucks. <laughs> Don't tell your sister. I let you have tons of coffee, okay, Hayden? All right. Sure. I won't tell anyone. Hi, Isa. I miss you. I know you don't want to quit your job, but another weekend at Crystal Lake. I'm worried. Mary is fine. It is great that you let me have her while you're gone. And don't worry, it's not annoying at all. She's like a, she's like the little sister I never had. I hope you call me soon. Love, Hayden. All right then. I'm sure there's nothing suspicious about that. Uh, wait, what? Pick up what? This? Oh, brush. I thought you meant this painting. Which seems like a zombie ninja who's gonna kill somebody. Well, that's one way to get brains, I guess. Yay, zombie ninja. Whoa. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> Someone must have been very pissed. <laughs> right? I just hope that the guy was not ripped to pieces. I hope this will not happen to me. Oh, Alice, you're so nonchalant about it. I love it. <laughs> a girl with teleporting Jedi powers is chasing you, and you're like, oh, I hope, you know, I won't get murdered to pieces. What's this? Dirty thief. Hold on. The art of stealing is Springwood artist and sex symbol Hayden Carpenter. Hayden Carpenter is a British artist based in Springwood. Dirty thief. The influence of classical art and, and the women in his life and the status as a real heartthrob. Thinking about leaving Springwood changes if you have a family. You're going nowhere. You attract a lot of women. What is it like to be a bastard? <laughs> it is nice so if someone appreciates your work, but I really don't know about the... It feels a bit alien sometimes. Was your girlfriend ever jealous? No more. No, she's fine. We're grown up adults, so this is nothing we even talk about. Not so sexy anymore. Yeah, especially if he's in like a thousand pieces, then... Yeah. Or maybe disintegrated. Or maybe if he's in that grave, 
there's hands sticking out. Yep, that's probably not. That's probably why he's not so sexy anymore. <laughs> when the thief, when the word is written blood, I'm guessing that's what he actually was. Maybe a thief, rather than a child molester or a rapist, like that flyer suggested. Uh, can I? I can't read that. All right. About you, mail. Oh, oh, it's a police report. Cool. S occupation artists. Uh, describe harassment. Punctured tires. Calls in the dead of the night with no one on the other side. False claims printed and distributed in the neighborhood. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he really made somebody jealous, huh? <laughs> Jeez, man. Ouch. Oh, that's Mary. And I guess that's Isa. No picture of the guy himself, though. Oh, well. I think we did all we need to do here. Not thirsty um, right now. Yeah, I know. You, Alice, to drink you said that. <laughs> so, which means we gotta go back outside and face Jingle Bells again. Oh, I am not looking forward to that. Wait, so I have this brush, powder, tape, and we still have the sugar water, so that's cool. That's always nice, I guess. Maybe we could offer Jingle Bells a drink. Which I think might be like, um,. Either Alice or it could be Is Isabel as well, or maybe it's Janice. Who knows? Hi, wasps. Wait, I don't remember seeing this. There's a big fat fingerprint on it. Okay, hold on. Yes, now I get it. We're gonna see aside the shit out of this. Damn right. All right. So maybe should I use a brush first or no? No, hold on. Uh. Maybe... Okay, maybe the powder, yes. Obviously. Oh, okay, we used the brush and the powder, now we just need tape, right? And we got the fingerprint! Cool. Now, we have the fingerprint. And if we use it... Sounds like I unlocked it. Yeah, the door above. Right, the one that was locked and we couldn't open. That makes sense. It, it needs Janice's fingerprint, I, I guess. Which was... I guess that. So let's open this creepy ass room where weird ass sounds are coming from. And close the door. Huh. Cool. What is that? Uh, it's like a mini telescope. So this is Janice's room, huh? <laughs> a lot of stories here <laughs> I read about, you know? Uh, teenage role model. I show nipples and underwear and you think video games are sexist. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Oh, I got a key. Which key? Motel key? I remember seeing that motel, but I couldn't enter it. Huh. What is fucking wrong with you? I could ask you the same thing. You lied to me, and now you expect me to just... Oh, shit. Really? Here, hang on, it's come... Jenny's Morgan. I, yeah. She really knows how to make friends. Right. I wonder if that has anything to do with her having gone missing. Wait, where is she? Is she, like, here? Oh god damn it. She's gonna find me in this room, isn't she? Isn't she? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna die! <laughs> I wish I could hide in the closet. That would be nice. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think I could. Oh, maybe she's going. Cool. Then I can get back to reading private messages and invading the privacy of some people. Is she gone? She's downstairs. Sometimes she phases through walls, so hopefully she won't, uh, get me. But we'll see. Seriously! Can you go away? Oh, what the hell, man. <laughs> go away! No! <laughs> oh shit. Wait, is she going away? I can't tell! I think we're safe. Relatively speaking. Alright, yeah, let's get back to invading the privacy. That was between me and you. There was no need to tell her. You said your relationship was nearly over anyway. I was. I'm such a stupid cow. It was fine before, now you have to ruin my life because of your conscience. I am not ruined your life, you did that all on your own. She threw me out, I started to drink and lost my job, and that is all because of you. 
You've been a drunk be drunkard before, so do not blame me because you can't handle your own life. Please grow up. You will regret that. Ouch. So... Huh. That's bad. Janice Morgan. She really knows how to make friends. I and know. Does anything to do with... It probably does, Alice. It probably does. Alright, so hopefully she's gone. I I remember where that hotel is, but like... You guys remember that alleyway door that I couldn't open? I don't think that's the key for the front door. I couldn't even interact with it, to be honest. Like It was like one of these doors. Well, okay. I'll go outside and have a look. Hopefully... Jingle bitch is not there. Right, this is the motel. Motel Bates. <laughs> Jesus. Really? Um, see, I can't do anything with this door. Oh, wait. What? Wow! It was open all along! Are you serious? And I hear her. Shit. Hang on. Uh, at least the door's open. Can I... Oh, there's a vent over here. Hold on, let's hide in it. Because I bet with her Jedi mind senses and, you know, all that all those nice powers that she has, she's gonna come in here to look for me. Except she's not gonna find me in this vent, I go. I'm safe, right? I'm curious if she actually does come in here, because I remember hearing her on the other side of that wall from time to time. Yep, she does come in here. Wow. Hello. I'm telling you, man, she has Jedi senses! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Bye, Obi-Wan douche! Alright, let's close this door. Um, is this the key? I mean, no, that's not the right room. Apparently. How about this one? This one, not either. Hang on, it said it on the... Oh, 237. Okay, I should have looked. Hang on, there's an exit. Can I exit out of here? <laughs> nope. Aw, oh, that would have been too much to ask. Is there anything here I can pick up? No. Alright, so let's go into this room. Yay. Cool. Hey, close the door. Oh, cool. What's this? Uh, my mother was such a loser. No wonder my father left. Afterwards, we were stuck in that rancid stall. Non-stop sniveling of the neighbor's brats. So you just needed a beer or two to get some sleep. My mother did not care, of course. If your mother is such a loser, you're going to be a loser as well. Sometimes I wish I could be better. If I only could be better, Isabel would not have left me. God, I bet Kruger cried tears of joy. He never liked me anyway. Oh. That was it? Aw, oh, come on. Aw. I wanted more. Oh well. Last chapter will be available soon. Huh. So yeah, that was chapter two. <laughs> I really hope we'll find out why Jingle Bells bitch screams like a banshee. And why does she wear the Jingle Bells? Is she trying to be Mrs. Santa Claus? What, who is she anyway? I really hope we'll get those answers to those questions soon. <laughs> Cause I'm really curious myself. I'm kinda leaning towards either Janice or Alex. But then again, why would Alex want to kill her own sister, you know? But. The fact that she's mentioned obviously means there is some sort of um, significance towards that they're building up to. So yeah, I'm genuinely curious. Anyways guys, that was chapter 2 of Last Look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.